In the previous lesson, we learned that ionic compounds dissolve in water solvent. In this lesson, we are going to look at the formation of this solution by looking at in terms of exothermics or endothermics, more specifically in terms of the changes in enthalpy. Well, first of all, we have the ionic compound and water or solvent. Well, the first step is that we need to break this intermolecular force right here. And what's that going to happen is that we are going to make Na plus and Cl minus. And the same thing for solvent, because when we introduce the ionic compound into the solvent, it's going to break this intermolecular force between the solvent molecules. And what we're going to have here is water. Now what we have here are water molecules no longer hold together by a strong hydrogen bond. And if we look at both of this right here, the solute and the solvent, both of them require the energy to break their intermolecular force. In this case, if that requires energy, we will have a delta H, positive delta H for both of them. Okay. Now what's happening next is that the solute and the solvent, they are going to make new intermolecular force. And how is that work is based on the partial charges. We know that oxygen has a partial negative, hydrogen has a partial positive. So let's label that in. And based on the electrostatic attraction, also known as the columbic attraction, molecules will rearrange themselves so that opposite charges will attract each other. In this case, let's look at sodium. Sodium is plus. What it's going to do is going to make an interaction with a partial negative of oxygen on the water molecules. And over here, we would have partial positive for hydrogen. And then this is going to be surrounded by a bunch of water molecules, a charge. And this process of having water molecules surrounding a charged ion is known as hydrating ion. And in this case, we're not going to require energy, but instead we are going to release energy and we would have a negative delta H. So you have to be able to interpret this in terms of what's happening in terms of endothermics from here and exothermic from there. So this is the thermodynamic process of forming a solution from an ionic compound in a solvent.